Now our main story this evening surrounds the first media economic forum taking place here in Dubai. Greg, now what were the most important issues uh, discussed today at the forum? Interesting, Eunice, because the, there's one key figure, which is one trillion dirhams. Mm -hmm. Now that, that's a lot of money, and it's um, for the UAE's gross domestic product by the end of this year. That's what Mr. Altaya said. Wow, and we and other media channels have a huge responsibility and must take it I mean, make it our duty to report on issues both ethically and uh, accurately, right? Eunice, this is another key point. Uh, many statements made, but this is one of the other key ones. And um, Mr. Altaya actually spoke in detail about this. Now, the value of goods and services produced in the UAE is expected to exceed one trillion dirhams this year. That's according to Ahmed Hamed Altaya, the governor of the Dubai International Financial Center. Low inflation has been an attractive environment for business and is helping to encourage disposable incomes of consumers and encourage businesses to make long-term plans. Altaya said that the UAE's nominal gross domestic product, or GDP, is expected to exceed 1 trillion dirhams in 2010. All of this would help the economy of the country to overcome the challenges it faced and to continue to build on its previous achievements. Ahmed Altaya also spoke about the direct and indirect effect of media on the financial community and described financial media as a double-edged sword. I believe that local media has always carried out its role professionally, but we also touched upon foreign media and its recent negative coverages targeted against UAE without adhering to objectiveness and truth. We hope that this forum will remove doubt on many issues and that news will become more truthful and objective, expressing reality away from an unobjective media. At the first media economic forum, Mr. Altaya spoke of coming out of the global financial crisis and he pointed to detailed aspects of the UAE economy which are making this happen. The UAE's GDP is driven by the tourism sector, air transport, trade and re-export, which continue to record double-digit growth. The financial sector has also seen what is described as a steady improvement in the levels of liquidity and capital adequacy, exceeding the requirements of the central bank and Basel II. Concerning readiness for Basel III, which addresses new regulations on bank capital requirements. You see, it is recently announced and, and uh, we are waiting the, the, the central bank and the capital adequacy for the uh, Basel III, I think. It is uh, with the uh, capital adequacy today, Yes, the uh, bank will, will prepare for that and I'm, they will comply with it. UAE central bank figures have shown that combined shareholder equity gained almost 24 billion dirhams in the first half of this year to reach around 255 billion dirhams at the end of June, against 231.4 billion at the end of 2009. The increase boosted the bank's collective capital adequacy, in other words, the ratio of a bank's capital to its risk, to a record 20.4 percent. In the coming three decades, the modern infrastructure of the UAE, including the transportation network, telecommunications, energy, basic industries, along with the services sector, will provide continuous, sustained benefits to the national economy. With clear recognition of emerging from a 24-month global financial crisis, Mr. Altaya believes the media and the financial sector should work together to share the lessons learned during the crisis and how to turn these lessons into successful partnerships in the future. Back in May, the Dubai Land Department published the long-awaited Strata Law, which is designed to allow property owners to hire their own management companies for the first time. The law means that owners can review and amend how much they pay in service charges. MAG Group's Mazen Falhut believes that the future of the property market in Dubai rests with the strata law being effectively implemented and managed, and that homeowners will benefit in the long run by taking ownership of their own community and ultimately their investment. The rules of the strata law are legally binding and give owners a greater say in the management of communal areas, including choosing maintenance companies and helping to solve disputes between owners and developers. It's estimated that 15% and 25% of any rental income should go towards service charges annually. UAE stocks moved lower today. Dubai stocks fell 1.6% to close at 1,674. 
The ADX in Abu Dhabi fell a quarter of 1% to 2,631 points from trading worth 138 million dirhams. Here come the details of Wednesday's markets and currencies. And that is the latest finance and business. Eunice? Thanks, Greg.